When it comes to headlights, nobody likes that ugly, faded, yellowy looking, plasticky look. Everybody wants that crystal clear, super, super bright headlight. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be restoring the headlights on our convertible M3. Now I've done a bunch of headlight restorations. I really have never filmed one. I've done it in all the methods that are possible, whether you're just buffing it, whether you're gonna sand it down and then buff it and then coat it with like a ceramic kind of coating, or whether you're just gonna sand it down and go at it with a 2K clear coat. And then we've also replaced them with cheaper headlight covers. You can buy anything you want on eBay, honestly. I've done them all and I'll show you guys all the results that I've, I've had with all of those attempts. So today we're gonna to be trying a new product that I came across. Now this is not sponsored by any means, but I did find this on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. It's called Cerakote. Now they claim that they can restore your headlight without any tools in under 30 minutes. It also comes with some kind of coating that will prevent it from getting yellow again. So we're gonna try it out on our trial and error car, the convertible M3. As you can see, we've tried out a whole different method of painting a whole car. Now we're gonna try out this new headlight restoration kit. Wish me luck. So this kit comes with eight oxidation remover wipes, one surface prep pad, four surface prep disc, which are pretty much a sandpaper, two ceramic clear coating wipes. Now those two ceramic clear coatings, that is pretty much the coating that's gonna stop it from yellowing again. And then we have four application gloves, which whatever. But these oxidation remover wipes, that's what I'm most intrigued about. So I already watched a video made by Cerakote showing how to use this kit. And you literally just use this for step one. You wipe off all of the oxidation off of the headlight. Now, once you have it wiped off, then you're gonna go to the sanding disc, which is gonna prep it for the ceramic clear coating. So let's just get right to it. Now, this kit is enough to do two headlights. I'm only gonna be doing this one headlight on the passenger side, and I'll show you guys the difference between the two. And then we're doing other stuff to the headlight, so I'll do the other one later. Okay, I'm not sure what this chemical is, but it is taking all the oxidation off. That is ridiculous. I was definitely not expecting that. So I can still feel the headlight is still very like gritty, but all the oxidation is like, I mean, you can already tell it's getting clear. I don't even think we're gonna need all eight. So it says to do it in a circular motion. The first one I just went straight across just to see how it would behave. And you're supposed to use four of these per headlight. I don't think we're gonna need anywhere near all four. I think even just one would have been fine. But depending on how bad your headlights are, which these were pretty bad, it takes it off really quickly. And it says that even after the fourth wipe, you're probably still gonna get some more yellow off of the headlights. And then you're gonna remove the rest of it with the sanding. And it also says if you get any of this chemical on your paint, you should probably wipe it off right away, which is why we removed all of the trim, the corner light, and we lifted up the hood. Now it says to use all four, but as you can see that second wipe, not barely anything was coming off. And it's actually all the oxidation seems like it's already removed. So now there's a little bit of like pitting and stuff like that. So we're just gonna move on to the next step, but before we do that, we need to rinse off all of this chemical. So I've only used two wipes so far on this headlight, and you can already tell there's a huge difference. I haven't rinsed it off completely, but I did dry off all that chemical. And pretty much what it looks like is all of the yellowing is gone. There is still oxidation on the top surfaces, but there's definitely no more yellow. So for the next step, we're gonna be sanding down the headlight and it says to keep it lubricated with water. So we're pretty much wet sanding it with this red disc and this little tool they gave us. And it says to go side to side, up and down, no circular motion at all. Now it says to do this for about two to three minutes and then we can move on to the next one. And if your headlights are not as flat as ours are, they're all curvy, you can actually take this pad off and then just use your hand to do it to get in all the corners and crevices. As 
as you're sanding, you want it to be completely uniform. As you can see, like on this bottom section, I'm not hitting that really well. So all of this is nice and sanded, but this section is not. So we're gonna go back over this, try to get it as uniform as we can. So now that we're done with the red disc, we're gonna move on to the gray disc. So the red disc was 2000 grit, now this is 3000 grit. And it's the same process, you wanna make sure it's nice and wet. And no circles. So we've got it completely dried up and rinsed off. And it just looks very scratched up, honestly, but it has to look uglier before it can look better. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to the next step, which requires it to be completely cleaned up. So I got even a new microfiber, rinsed it a couple of times, and now it's nice and clean. So the next step is going to be the coating. Now when we're putting this on, you wanna make sure you have a fresh set of gloves, nice and clean, and we're gonna go side to side. We're only gonna put on one coat. And every time you start the next row, you wanna make sure you're overlapping by 50%. So we're just gonna keep going all the way across, only one coat, and you wanna make sure that there is no moisture on this headlight, because you don't want any moisture on this. And then we have to let it cure for 60 minutes before it can see any other moisture or any kind of debris. So you wanna make sure you can leave it inside or cover it for at least an hour or so. This stuff is super strong, like it's burning my eyes, so you might wanna use it in a well-ventilated area. Wow, that looks brand spanking new. Now you gotta let it dry for 60 minutes. Make sure no dirt or moisture gets on it. We're gonna check it out in 60 minutes. So here is the night and day difference. Honestly, it looks like a brand new headlight. Now only time will tell how, this, how long this is gonna last but I can tell you definitely that coating that we put on, it really almost felt like a clear coat, like a wipe on clear coat. So I have high hopes for this. I think it's gonna last a long time, but I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes. I still have to do the other headlight. Now, when I compare this to a clear coated headlight, and by that I mean you sanded it down and then sprayed it with a 2K clear, it looks almost identical. And all, when, it, when you compare it to just a buffed out headlight, um, the buffed out headlight definitely wouldn't shine and look as new as this one does. Um, I mean, unless you took it like, you know, three or four different steps of buffing it with different compounds, and you would still have to put some kind of coating on it, whether it's a wax, a sealant, or even just like a normal ceramic coating, it might help, it might even look just like this. But let me tell you, nothing is gonna be as quick as this was. This honestly took less than 30 minutes. Granted, we only did one headlight, and I did spend my time on it, which is why it took that long. And we, we only used like a quarter of the kit. So that ceramic coating that I put on that wipe, it was still fully saturated, and I'm almost 100% positive that we could have done both of the headlights with the amount of product that we used. So I think they're very generous in the kit, so if you have a bigger style headlight, um, even if it's not an E46, whatever kind of headlight you have, you should be able to knock it out with one of these kits. So that's it for this video. I will keep you guys posted on here, especially if there is something that goes wrong. So within the next year, if it starts failing again, I'll definitely update you guys, and if I don't, that means it's still holding up just fine. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in our next video.